Imagine you were born without the ability to use one of your arms. And you came to the specialist who said, I know how to give you full use of your arm so that you can live the fullest and best life possible. Who wouldn't want to do that? You'd say, sign me up. So imagine you're sitting in the waiting room, getting ready to go in for your surgery. You're nervous as can be. You don't know what's in front of you. You only know there's a promise. But this really cool guy is sitting next to you. He sees that you're really nervous. And he says, think of me as a fellow patient in the same hospital who, having been admitted a little earlier, could give you some advice. Wouldn't you want to take that? This was actually one of my favorite quotes from CS Lewis where he talks about mentorship. All right, I'm going to get rid of the sling. It was just for demonstration purposes. I'm Samantha Postman and in today's episode I'm going to share life advice that I wrote in a letter to my son on his 25th birthday. Advice number one, if you want to have children grow up into really great adults and have great relationships, it all starts with your wife. Serve her and lavish love on her and I promise you that you will build a sail around the world together as a family and you will bond and create this wonderful life that you'll be proud of and you'll be able to look back on with such fondness and memories and joy. There's very few people who have mastered this in life and I promise you everything starts with your wife. Okay advice number two, take time to play. This is one of the best wellness hacks there is. Bond with the world, with yourself and your inner child and the inner child of others. Laugh at yourself. Smile so much that it becomes muscle memory because when times get tough and they will, your joy will resurface and carry your spirit again. Be silly sometimes and never let anyone shame you for it. They're the ones missing out. They're the fools, not you. Part of taking time to play is to live joyfully and carefree through your children. Laugh with them and teach them joy. Be intentional with teaching joy because like I said before, a joyful spirit will resurface through any hardship. Be adaptable. This is my number one skill that got me through life. Some people say I have resilience, but I think I just have the ability to be adaptable and it's very important. My words of wisdom are be adaptable. If you master this, your mind, body, and spirit will thrive. You can never control the world. The only thing you can do is adapt and you will thrive. Something that I learned by adapting to others is that they will share the most cool knowledge with you when they get to be their most authentic self and they don't have to adapt for you because you are adapting to them. It's an amazing way to honor other people and it has a lot of great joys and benefits to it. Emotional regulation. I have this analogy that will really help you understand this. I think of people as open paint cans and when they're happy, they're painting their happy paint all over everyone and it's really great. But when they're unhappy, they're painting their toxic paint all all over everyone. And when we're emotional messes, we spill our toxic paint on others. They don't respond well and they will throw back some of the toxic paint mixed with theirs as well as start to redistribute it onto other people. It's kind of a ripple effect actually. There are multiple lessons here. One, when you're angry, it's important to study your paint can before you spill on others. They have to clean that up. Acknowledge when you splashed on them, help clean it up and make it right. Acknowledge that others don't regulate well and they are going to spill on you unintentionally. Stay calm. Just clean it off and take care not to overreact because you'll end up spilling onto your wife and to your kids and it'll just become one big explosion. Sometimes I steer clear of people who are regular paint spillers, <laughs> but it's not always possible to. It's important to try to have compassion for them, but don't let their lack of emotional regulation and turmoil become yours. When you feel like your paint can is unstable and about to spill or explode, take a walk reset, refresh, do something that you love and rejuvenates you. It's important to remember when things are going crazy and everyone's paint is flying everywhere to say to yourself, relationship first, relationship first, relationship first. Some paint stains can never be removed. And as we all know, the more paint that spills, the more that we have to clean up, which actually just compounds the problem. My last piece of advice today is to study business. Of course, I have a business degree, so I'm quite biased, but I will tell you that my business degree is a secret to my success. You see, that's how I learned budgeting. It's how I learned revenue. It's how I learned adoption and adaptability. It's how I learned how to be a leader in my own home and in organizations, to be a teacher, to understand what it's like for a, another person in an organization to work with us, as well as to be able to work with others. There isn't a place or a part of my life that has not benefited from the studies I took in business. And you never know, you might want to start up a side hustle or a business someday where all of that business information is going to be really important because if you try to gain that knowledge when you start a business, it's just going to be really overwhelming. Business is a transferable skill in every walk of life. As I said earlier, if you serve and lavish love on your wife, those same skills apply when you're working in organizations. Serve others, learn what their love language is, hear how they need to 
to hear encouragement, hear how they need to hear feedback. Of course, I'll be talking about business in lots of my other channels, but I always like to bring in a little bit about how transferable business is in all walks of life. That's all the time we have for today. If you don't want to miss out on any other life advice, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Of course, I'd appreciate it if you liked the episode. And in the comment area, I'd really love to know which of this life advice really resonated with you. When we hear from others, we live our best lives. Live a life you love, my friends. See you next time.